M0FXB, welcome to my channel. ICOM ID50, I've got my DV Mega hotspot here. We're just looking at some of the basic GPS settings. The, the quickest way to get to your GPS is to go menu and go to the tile that's called GPS, press enter. And there you are, and you can now set it. So if we go GPS set, press the middle blue tog, then you've got manual position, if I press that, press the middle, and I put my position in. If you want to edit it, you just press the quick button, go to edit, then you can go down the list here. We start at the top, and then just push to the right, the right, the LO button, which is also, the, if you hold that, is your power button, high, low, middle. Press that, and you can start changing. The 51, then we go across, changing with the very top knob. 22 and when you're done just press enter obviously you can change north and south as well north go enter and go down to the next line exactly the same again and when you're done keep turning the very top knob keep turning that until you get to right and then just go enter that way even if you haven't got a gps lock you'll be able to you know transmit your dprs and your gps coordinates so if we back out with the v button a couple of pushes all the way back to the beginning you can see we've got it on dual receive at the moment so your a b button is effectively this one here main and dual that's my hub net node there it's analog and on the b band i've got my d star repeater which there is some activity today you saw some activity there, M6 Oscar Echo Hotel, and we've got his GPS coordinates there as well. And some more information, I think if we press the left key, or was it the up one? Yeah, we can actually select that station, that's the up, and we can actually try and contact them direct, but we'll go back to using my repeater. Anyway, they're going to carry on chatting. Next thing I'll show you is the, if you go quick, quick here, there's another place where you can access the same GPS information. So if we go to GPS info, this one here. Ah, we've lost our lock. Just now we had our lock, let's just go back. Let's go to single screen by holding down the main button. See the, li the little GPS logo at the top? That was locked just now and we had our location. To look at your location, you can go to the grid or go the quick way. Quick. You go to GPS information, it will show you, or we may have got it back now. You've got your GPS satellites there. Do that again. GPS position. Oh no. But when, when you do have it, all this information is populated here. Back with the V button, GPS. We've got display type as well, large and small on the quick menu. Looking there, voice, DTMF, we'll do a separate video on DTMF. And to select my hotspot, at the moment we've selected the call sign. You go up and down, bring the, the grey area up and down. Select enter. Getting these stations coming through. Does sound great though. Uh, this, but this is basically an ID fifty one in an ID fifty two style case. That's what it is really. So anyway, um, gateway CQ, yeah, that'll be separate. My call sign. Just looking through now. So that's it for this video. And if you've got your settings right, oh yeah, we were going to put in reflector, use reflector to uh, talk, but if you push the top again, middle button, and go to reflector, but this time link to reflector, so you're going up and down the list, enter with the toggle, you can use one that you've got in your history, or select direct input, start to turn if you want reflector XRF. DCS XLX, so we'll go in reflector, go across, choose your number, go across again, Not nearly always it's a C, enter, and then if I key it will try and link to that, once it has linked, you want to press 
enter again in the middle bit, reflector, and you want to go to use reflector. I know DR mode can be really confusing, but it's, it's packaging the information. It's still a frequency. You have a zero shift, but it's putting in all your settings that you would need for repeater one, repeater two. And the way you edit it is you go, you come out of this screen, you hold down DR. So you come out of that screen, you go menu, and you go across to you see memory. Then you go enter. Then you repeat, sorry, repeater list. That I know that that one's in local, so you've got a long list of all the repeaters there. Anyway, local. And local again gives you the information. But if you go back one with the V and then press quick, you can edit or add. Edit, you start to go down, DV repeater, your, and then you can have a name, you can name it, sub name, and then you start to put in your call sign. So mine would be M0FXB space space B and so on. So there is a learning curve. If we look at an existing one, HP is one that I did. You can see there, if I go down, call sign M0FXBB, gateway call sign M0FXBG, then the frequency, you still need a shift, see the duplex minus or plus, and then it's a naught shift, otherwise it won't work. That's the way, that's the way D-Star is, it has to always think that you're using a repeater. And to go back to the beginning, you press um, the V button and to go back into DR, hold down DR. I can understand it, I'm about it, so it isn't pure rage, you know, because go. the, uh, the internet is made yeah, the, the, this is, you've got to think, remember, with this kind of radio, it's, it's a very advanced D-Star VHF, UHF, quite reasonably wideband radio. Uh, so there's a massive learning curve. Um, but once you, the more you sort of work at it and learn the functions, go through the menus, go through the manual, keep practicing on the actual radio, eventually you start to get it. But yeah, it is hard. There's no easy on a radio like this. But if you want to use it in an easy way, you just go, go to V, like so, turn the top knob to change the frequency, press the V here to have larger increments. Like so, press it again to have smaller increments. You've got your mode, FM, DV, FM. Power here. Hold down the low for power. So that's your basics. So, and then if you like something and you want to save it to your memory, hold down memory, hold down the button. Right to new channel. That should be it. Push it, press again, up to yes. You've done it. And it's put it in, it automatically put it in channel 56 to go back in menu mode. Go to 56 and there it is there. And we haven't tagged it at this point. If you want to tag a memory, you go into memory. Go back, let me have a look now. VFO, memory. Oh, we're on memory. You hold it down again. Edit, I think then you press quick, name, and you can now give it a name. Oh, then press this, the middle button. With a bit of like, yeah, AA, so you've given it a name. Let's just see if we have to save it. No, it can go down to right, overwrite, yes, okay. Memory mode, we're in memory mode now. Thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now, 73.